Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom 2 here on this YouTube channel. And I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and on eBay. And today I have a haul video to share with you guys. So I have been kind of mixing up my sourcing strategies lately. I have been doing some retail arbitrage. So I have some items over here to share with you guys. These are all sneakers. Um, I found some really awesome ones at a great price. So if you're in the market for some new sneakers, um, definitely stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to show you guys those. I have some items from the local thrift stores near me. I have some online arbitrage items, items I purchased online to flip in for a profit in my stores. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I do have clothing, shoes, and a few hard goods here to share with you guys. So um, I only have a few hard goods. I'm going to go ahead and start with those. We'll move on to the clothing and then I'll show you guys the shoes at the very end. So I like picking up like cute vintage home decor pieces. Um, they sell well for me, not only on Poshmark, um, I've sold them on eBay and I've sold them well on Mercari. I like styling them and um, yeah, I feel like people like these fun, unique pieces to put in their homes. So I grabbed this like um, little metal bowl. It's definitely vintage. I need to clean it. I haven't done anything to it yet. There are, you know, there is some age, some patina and stuff on it, but I feel like that's kind of a desired look. Um, this does have a sticker on the bottom. It says it was made in India, but um, it has these cool, like, I think they're reindeer on the end here. So this is definitely um, going to be a cute, like decorative piece for the holiday season. Okay, this next item is a pair of wood carved bookends. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to sell these yet or not because I have this love for like hand carved wood items like this. Um, and I do have a bookshelf, so I may keep these, um, but I may not, I'm not sure yet. Um, they're really, cute. I'm not sure. What are these? They kind of look like gazelles or is, is that what you call them? Gazelles or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Um, let me know down in the comments below. But um, yeah, really cool. These were $3.99 for the, it says on their two piece. So $3.99 for both. So $2 a piece. Thought those were cool. And then the last hard good item I got also a vintage item. This is a vintage like hand painted tray. I did do some research on this. It's an Italian Florentine uh, tray. It's super lightweight. It feels almost like it's made out of like a foam material. Um, but when I did the research on this item, they're actually made out of like a special kind of wood and then they're coated with like a, I believe it's like paper mache. So that's um, why it feels so lightweight and then obviously painted. It is absolutely beautiful. This would be perfect on somebody's vanity or as a decor piece on like a side table. Um, just a beautiful tray. I paid $2.99 for it, as you can see there. The cool thing about this too is it actually has a date on the back. So it says on the back, um, it's from the Straw Market in Florence, Italy, 1975. So that's really cool. Um, it just kind of makes me wonder, you know, the history of this piece how it traveled from Florence, Italy, from the straw market there in 1975 and ended up in a Goodwill in um, California. So really cool piece. This will be listed in my online stores. If you guys see anything you're interested in, I'm going to link my Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay stores down below. I always initially list things on Poshmark first before I cross list. So definitely check there first. If you're not seeing the item listed, um, you can always message me either on here or um, if you want to reach me faster, message me over on my Instagram page. Um, it's also Thrifty Mom of Two. I will link that down below and I can let you know um, what's going on with that item. So yeah, definitely message me if you see anything. Let's move on to the clothes. I have this First pair, I have two actually Lululemon items in this haul, which I'm really excited about. I love selling activewear, um, specifically Lululemon. It's one of my favorite and best-selling brands. I just don't find it 
as much as I'd like to, um, but you can see the logo's in really good condition. I believe these are Wonder Under leggings. I haven't researched the style yet, but that's what they look like to me. Um, really cool pattern. These are actually a size two, and the size dot, it does have a size dot. It's in like a little tiny pocket in the waistband. So always check like those little pockets they have on the waistband there. See it says size two. Okay, and then I found this Lululemon jacket. I actually found this um, at the Angel View thrift store near me. Um, and the funny thing about this jacket, just a quick little story, is as I was, right after I parked, I just got out of my car, I'm walking into the store, I didn't even make it through the doors yet, and a girl comes out of the store carrying, I mean, she had probably seven or eight bags stuffed with stuff. She was like carrying them all on her arms. I mean, she had definitely bought a ton of things. I'm like 99% sure she must be a reseller just with the amount of items she purchased. Um, so I was kind of discouraged. I almost wanted to just turn around and leave and go to a different store. Um, because I was like, man, she just picked over this store. She bought a ton. I'm probably not going to find anything. And I went into the store and this Lululemon jacket is actually one of the first items I found. So just goes to show you guys that there is plenty out there for all of us. We're not all reseller, you know, not all resellers are looking for the same type of items. Um, we don't all have the same brand knowledge or brands in mind. Some people just sell vintage. Some don't even care about clothing. Maybe they only want hard goods, vice versa. You know, there's so many different categories that uh, resellers sell in and type of items they're looking for. So yeah, just don't get discouraged. Still take a look around. Um, this one's cool. It still has the set or the um, pull tag here. It is a size 10. It is in really, really nice condition. Um, and it may have got looked over. They actually priced this really cheap. I think it was only priced at like $6, which if the store knew that it was Lululemon, they would have probably priced it up. But I don't think they saw the logo on the back here um, because it is hidden under this like hood thing. Not a hood, but a uh, collar here. So really cool, really excited about this piece. Okay, next item, I'm not sure I have ever sold this brand. I've seen other rese uh, resellers talk about this brand. I do know it is pretty expensive. It is 3.1 Philip Lim. I may have picked this up before. I just, um, maybe once, I don't know. I can't, I honestly can't remember. Um, but this is a size small. It's this really cute kind of like poncho style, like short sleeve sweater. Um, oversized like cowl neck perfect for the fall definitely a great layering piece I have this anthropology Maeve you guys know this is one of my favorite anthropology brands this is a size small it is a beautiful midi length dress I absolutely love this teal color the model photos for this dress are beautiful this is a Free People sweater, another one of my favorite bread and butter brands. Perfect for the upcoming fall and winter season. This one's a size small, but it's definitely oversized. Could definitely fit a medium um, as well. Maybe even a large, depending on how tight you want it. Um, I do need to lint roll this, um, but just a really nice, thick, chunky knit black uh, turtleneck. So really nice. This is a pair of jeans. I was telling you guys in one of my past hauls how good Pill Crow and the Letterpress jeans have been selling for me. Um, so I've been picking them up. So just unique styles, still paying attention to condition, style, all of that. Um, so when I say I'm still picking them up, I'm not picking all of them up, but certain ones I definitely am. Um, this is a size 31, so also a great size. They're high rise, they're skinny, very um, in right now, high rise skinny. And they're camo print, which is also a really popular print. 
They are like a velvet texture, so these are gonna be a great pant for the fall and winter time. Probably a little too thick to wear in the heat of the summer. Okay, next top is another one of my favorite anthropology brands. This is a newer label, so it's the Moulinet Sewers by Anthropology. Also new with tags, so that's exciting. Um, this top retailed for $88. It's gorgeous. I love these bold florals, the color combination, the cute little buttons down the front. It is fitted at the waist, which would look really cute with some high-waisted jeans. Um, and it does have this little tie feature in the back so you can kind of adjust how you want that to fit you. But yeah, really cute. This one's a size US four. Okay, another uh, new with tag anthropology piece. This is also by Anthropology Maeve. This one's a size US 6. This skirt originally retailed for $128, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So like a red kind of um, almost like a window pane pattern, nice and flowy. And the waistband on this has this beautiful floral pattern with a matching belt. Just a really pretty, kind of reminds me of like a skirt you would wear to like a picnic or a barbecue. This next jacket, um, I got this online arbitrage because again, I'm just really loving this anthropology brand right now, Pilcro and the Letterpress. Um, this is a size large petite, but it's this really pretty white denim jacket. Um, the sleeves are like a cotton fabric flare sleeve. And then it has like this cotton fabric down here, like little peplum, slightly cropped fit. I just thought the style of this jacket was so cute. If this was my size, I would probably be keeping it. Um, this top, also Anthropology. This is a newer Anthropology tag, so Maeve by Anthropology. And this top is a US 4, love white lace. Um, these white lace tops have just been also selling well for me, so I have been picking them up. This is also a really good brand. You can see it's got so much beautiful detailing going on in the front here. Back is also really cute. There is like a little keyhole button here. I just don't have it buttoned. So definitely a cute style. This, again, Anthropology. This is Dolan. Um, this one's a size medium. I thought this was also new with tags. Yeah, so this is also new with tags. It has the um, Anthropology tag on the inside. This top retailed for $78, but it's just a really cute like peasant style blouse. So really boho. I love like boho styled embroidered items. This one has really pretty floral embroidery down the sleeve. This is definitely a cute transitional piece for the fall. Um, I love this deep like burgundy maroon color. And then the last clothing item I have, I'm really excited about this top just because I love the style of it and I think it will photograph really well. This is actually an anthropology brand that I had never heard of, but I did do the research on this item and um, I found the stock photo and it was sold through anthropology. So this brand is called Conditions Apply. I have never seen this label before, but um, really cute. This is a size large, but look at this print. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors, the floral pattern. It's super lightweight, slightly sheer, beautiful sleeves with the little um, elastic band at the cuff there and some flare. Back has a little keyhole. This might be silk. I think it is silk. No, it's 100% viscose, um, but it does have the 66170 anthropology number on the little tag there too. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that with my bright light. So 66170 is the Anthropology RN number. It is not on all Anthropology pieces, um, but it, that is a good way to tell if the item was sold through Anthropology. Um, but I never list items as Anthropology unless I can verify that it was sold on that site. 
So really excited about that piece. It kind of reminds me of something that would come um, that would come from the brand Blank London, which is also sold through Anthropology. Blank London makes a bunch of like colorful pattern blouses that are shaped very similar to that one. So that's what it reminds me of. But let's go ahead and jump into my favorite part of this haul. I have been so excited and just having a blast sourcing retail arbitrage lately and I have been loving sourcing shoes. Um, so I have been sourcing other things as well but shoes for some reason are just selling so well for me right now. So I did pick some up from my local Nike outlet store. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much I paid per shoe because I don't know off the top of my head. I do have it all written down but I will post a picture here. I took this picture to share on my Instagram. These are the tags I'm looking for when I'm shopping the Nike outlet. Um, these are their discount tags. So they recently did like a green tag sale where they did an additional markdown on top of their red tags, which was the first markdown on their items. And then anything on their back wall, which was all of these items, um, was an additional 30% off the already lowest ticketed price. However, I was able to lower my cost even more because I also had a 10% off coupon that I was able to use and they let me apply that on top of the additional 30% um, off discount. So yeah, that was a great day. I was able to get these shoes at a great price, but yeah, let me know if you're in the market for some sneakers. I definitely have a few good pairs here that I'm excited to share with you guys. Okay, so let's jump right into the sneakers. So these are all brand new. Um, the boxes do not have the lids on them. Unfortunately, like when you purchase shoes on at the outlet on the back wall, they tear most of the lids off, but they are all brand new. This first pair is the Nike Air Max 95s. I love these. They're so cute. So they kind of have like a shine to them like a purple shimmer and the little nike check is really cute it has little polka dots on it these are actually a youth size but i'm going to sell these as a women's so a youth size five and a half in nike is equivalent to a women's seven so it's a one and a half size difference um i did verify that with an employee but i also checked size charts online and that's also what the online size charts say. Um, I will put in my listing that these are a youth five and a half, but I'm gonna put that they are equivalent to a women's seven and list them as a women's seven. So I'll just make sure that I make it clear, you know, that they are youth. And um, I did take a picture of like this label here too. So I'll post that. This next pair um, these are a size 7 youth, which would be a women's 8. They are the Epic Phantom React Flyknits. These are really cool. Um, they do make these in the adult version too, so it's basically the same thing. Um, the youth size is the same thing as what the adult version would be, but these are really, really awesome. Flyknit. And yeah, they're like a sock kind of on the top there. Love the color combination on these. Okay, we got another pair of Flyknits, except for these ones are called the Nike Epic React Flyknit 2s. They are size 5 youth, which would be equivalent to a 6.5 women's. And these have already got a ton of attention. I think I have uh, quite a few likes on this pair, and I just barely listed them. So I have a feeling these will sell pretty quickly, but they're in this really cool, like bright red color, light, super lightweight. Um, they have like the foam uh, sole on them. And the Flyknit is just really a, a popular, you know, style. Next pair is a pair of Nike Air Max, the Okado SE. These are a six youth and they would be a seven and a half women's. Also really cool, I love Air Max. Um, this is what they look like, so they're white. The Nike check has like a, meta a metallic shimmer to it. It also has kind of like a scale, like kind of like mermaid 
scale pattern to it, if you can see that there. But I love these. Um, the back on them is really cool. Again, super lightweight. They have like the foam outsole here, bottom sole. Next, we have some Nike Air Force One LV8. These are five and a half youth, which would be a seven. And women's love Air Force Ones. Um, I know they're really popular right now as well. These ones are in black, but they do have like a glitter in them. So I thought that was really cool. So grabbed those. Okay, this next pair, I actually have four, but they're all in a different colorway, um, but four of the same style, different sizes. These are the Nike Air Max 720s, and these are my favorite pair that I picked up. I think these are so cool. Um, I know some people may not like the style of these, but if you like Air Maxes, these are awesome. These retailed at $180. I did check comps on all of these pairs of shoes. Like I mentioned, I got them at a really good price, so I'm really excited about these. Um, but this particular pair, I will be listing for over $100 on each one. I'll show you the different colorways. This one is a size women's six. So Air Max 720s, so cool. They're in like a, they look white on camera, but this is actually like a really light pink. Love these. I am so obsessed with this pair. I kind of want to keep a pair, but I did go ahead and list them all. This next pair is in my size. These are a five youth, which would be a women's six and a half, which is my size. And I love them. So really pretty teal color in white. They have a little bit of purple on the tongue here. Love, love these. Okay, next pair. Um, these are a women's nine and a half. And this colorway, also awesome. If this pair was in my size, I probably would keep them because I love this color. Um, it's like a deep burgundy. So cool. So women's nine and a half on this pair. Okay, and then the last colorway I have actually has the best comps for this or comparable solds for this style of shoe. This color just seems to be the most um popular i guess you could say selling for the highest price these are a size seven and a half women's and again they are so stinking cute they are like um it's gonna get washed out if i put it really close but they are like a bright um, like pastel pink and white love these so seven and a half women's and then the last pair that I got um, actually came from the men's section. My husband found these. I didn't spend a lot of time looking in the men's section, um, but I did tell my husband to kind of look around when he was over there and he found one pair for me um, that was uh, discounted with those tags that I showed you that I felt was worth picking up to resell. Again, I did check comps while I was in the store. Um, so I got a bag for my shoes from one of the Nike employees so that I could, you know, stand off to the side. And I went through and I checked comps on all of these shoes. And this is a pair of men's Nike Metcons. These are the Flyknit version, Flyknit 3s. They're a men's size 10 and a half in this. It's called Mystic Red. Really cool shoes. So these are actually made for like cross training, CrossFit. Um, they have like the harder rubber sole so that you can weight lift in them. You can do like the Olympic lifts and other uh, types of exercises involved with like cross training. So really nice, super lightweight. I personally have a pair of Metcons. My husband owns a few pair of Metcons. I love them. Um, they're great for CrossFit or if you just want to wear them for the aesthetic look, I guess, because they're a really cool looking shoe. Um, but yeah, these are size 10 and a half men's. They retailed at $150. I think I'm going to list them around $99 uh, just based off of comps. That does leave me a little bit of room for negotiation. And yeah, I'm really excited about all of these new shoes I got and the other items as well. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, if you saw anything you were interested in, I have my stores linked down below. Check my Poshmark closet first. Or like I said, don't hesitate to message me. 
Make sure that you guys give this video a like on your way out. It really means so much to me. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you enjoy reseller-related content. Um, hit that little bell notification down below so you get notified when I post new videos. I have a bunch of pre-filmed content. I'm trying to pre-film video videos for you guys um, so that I can put them out um, on a regular basis. But I have a bunch of pre-filmed content that I'm going to be putting out this month in August, so stay tuned for that. A lot of really exciting things. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week, making lots of sales, having great, awesome sourcing trips, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.